Greetings. I would like to show you how to use a simple mobile sales trigger. This is basically the page that it creates. You can use the software to change everything, of course. Uh, the buttons are not changeable. Those are, are will stay the same. Uh, you can, of course, change the language to whatever you would like. At this time, uh, the languages that go from right to left are not really supported. So uh, sorry about that, but uh, working to solve that. But let's get on to uh, using the software. Basically, when you start it up, you'll see a screen like this. And to make things a little faster here, I'm going to load in a saved project file that has been provided also in the download package. You can do the same thing. Uh, it's always great to do that the first time around. That way you can uh, learn the software step by step. So basically, we'll open the project file. It loads in. All right. And what we'll do now is just step through this. Uh, it'll be filled out, of course, because we loaded the project file. Uh, enter the browser title. Of course, it appears up here. And as I showed you the page earlier. This will be the top header, the main header text. All right. And since we allow the prospect to open up a window and test using the Google mobile friendly test site. They enter in their URL and if their website is not mobile friendly, Google tells them right off the bat. So really a great sales tool because they get real proof that their site is not mobile ready. Okay, so uh, just I'm going to step through this pretty quick. It's all self-explanatory and you've got your your question, what you need to enter, and an idea of what to enter. This tells you what's going on. So we'll just step through. Uh, you can enter in the default text above the form. And okay, the form, this is where the prospect will enter in their mobile site excuse me, their site URL, and it will appear in the mobile simulator phone. Okay, the click to load site, I have done this, so if you're not using the English language, you can enter your own language. Okay, again, self-explanatory. I've used a HTML code break here just to show you that you can use it, and also the code here is the two right arrows. And one more step here. Okay. And this is where you'll be offering your service. Your prospect clicks. Yes, they're interested in your services. This is where you send them to. Real quick, let's just go kind of step back here. Okay, that was, there's your header. There's your Google test. There's your info above the form box. And this is actually the step we were on. Click here where you would send them to your offering. Okay, and click here. It's pretty much, okay, your device can be rotated, portrait, landscape. And when you load I should say the prospect loads the page, you can either have an image like this in here or you can load a site. If you've got a responsive site or a mobile site that you want them to see right off the bat and when the page loads, do that. Some people will take it and enter in a little simple page saying, you know, info like uh, please enter your URL in the box or some instructions. You know, that's a great way to do it. Uh, I have one student that what they did was they created a little simple mobile site with instructions on using the page and some more information. So it's totally up to you what you want to appear here as far as an image or a page on the website. Uh, one note is the image and the page must be live on the website and you use the full URL. Okay, so 
you know, in here I've got a uh, a website URL. You can use an image if you'd like. GIF works great, and there's information in the PDF about uh, making free GIFs online. Okay, your footer text uh, brought to you by, and of course, who your who is bringing it, and the URL. Okay, footer script. This will be totally blank if you do not understand it or you don't use it. It's great to add tracking codes and stuff like that in here. You can put any type of script that you would like to put in there. Uh, just beware that uh, the page does use the JavaScript itself and jQuery. So uh, if you enter in something it, besides tracking codes, it may conflict, and that would be totally up to you to solve. We do not support that only things like tracking scripts. Okay, now here's the cool part. If someone exits the page, let's go ahead and just do it, uh, go step through this, and then I will show you the exit page live. So if they try to exit, you know, by going and closing, uh, you know, going home or something like that, anything but clicking your offer links, they're going to get a pop-up page or actually a message asking if they want to stay on the page or leave. So we want to show them that we can help them, okay? So keep that in mind. All right, now you can enter in a video, which I highly recommend for you to do, use a video. You can enter in, uh, you know, an image code. All of it can be HTML code. Do a splash image, whatever you would like. If you've got a message you want to show them, go for it. But uh, really recommend you using a video. Okay, and this appears below the video in our case. I want to help you. Okay, and this is some more information. It appears right here. Oh, excuse me. Hold on just a second. Let's finish this. Um, sidetrack today. <laughs> All right, and again, this is on the exit page. You want to help them, so you're sending them to your mobile services page. Okay, and click here to go, of course. All right, and click here for your special offer. All right, we'll go to finish, and what that does is, is open up uh, information asking you to save the page to your hard drive and you upload it via FTP to your web server. That's it. That's, there's nothing more to it. It's that simple. All right. Well, just a moment, and let me get uh, the exit page and show you that. Sorry, I know I seemed a little distracted here. I'm having some uh, in-house uh, network problems here, and uh, our local area network is up and down, so since we're on my local server having a few issues and I apologize for that. But let's go ahead and show you what's happening here. All right, so they look at the page, maybe they load their site. Uh, you know, let's just uh a site here. Just so you'll see what I'm talking about. Okay, so they load up a site, you know, when they go around and and uh look at the site, and eh, maybe they're distracted like me today <laughs> and uh, want to move on. You know, what the heck, uh, darn. Okay, so they go ahead and they hit the home button. Again, running these tests like this is not going to activate or clicking on your links. But if they type in another URL or hit the home button or anything like that, they're going to get this message. Uh, then leave the page, stay on the page. Uh, okay, so what do you got? You notice in the software, this is the information that we entered, and this is the exit page. So, got a URL here. You've seen and mobile phones are everywhere. People just can't put them down. In the grocery store. So you've got your own new, you know, video you can show them. And I have provided one in the package that you're welcome to use. You have full rights to that. So that's basically what the software does. This has been a great sales funnel for us and keeps me very busy. I send out a postcard and I send people with non-mobile ready sites.
to this page and I will tell you that uh, conversion rates have skyrocketed. I used to do telephones and cold calling and it just took so much time. I mean, I, I, at the end of the day, um, some days wouldn't even have a single cell. But smelling out postcards to people I've already found out do not have a mobile ready site. And it allows them to, at their own pace, look at it. And uh, the postcard also is usually sitting right on the owner's desk. And they'll see it, maybe not act on it, but eventually they do. And I, I get to, uh, like I said, conversion rates are, are crazy good compared to cold calling and telephone calls. And email also works fairly well as long as you've got good email addresses and the way you approach it. But I'm not into telling you how to email market. Uh, just wanted to give you this great conversion getter and show you how I do it. And thanks for watching. Have a great day.